Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to some more Space Engineers. I am here on the surface of the moon with my beautiful rainbow gloves. Look at these beauties. Uh, and we are here today to do a bit of a physics test. So you'll see here I have the Inquisitor, one of Zox's ships. Uh, it is currently firing all its thrusters because it can't actually make... It can't actually support its own weight uh, on the moon's surface. I have cut a hole in the roof so I can easily get in. Sorry about that, but it was necessary. Also a lot faster. Well, that's a cool idea, I've not seen that before. Uh, let's hop on in and the reason I am here today on the moon uh, is because we are going to do a physics test. I have done a bit of maths, it's the first time I've ever done maths for a, a game, it's very weird uh, and unfamiliar. But we are here today to see if orbit is actually possible. Now we don't have any other mods on here uh, other than, well actually it's my usual server, but um, so I have loads of mods on. I have like 45 or something. But the only mod that you actually require for this uh, is a speed mod. Uh, now I believe, according to my calculations, that on the surface of the moon, in order to actually be at be at orbital velocity, you need to be going at 171.5 meters per second. So. You could only use a speed mod for like 200 or something, I don't know, they've got them for every single size, that, every single um, measurement that you would want. Uh, so what we're going to do is try and put ourselves at a 45 degree angle so that we get our rear thrusters firing as well. Uh, the reason I've picked this ship is so that you know that I'm not um, going to be doing anything sneaky or anything, I'm not going to be using any editing tools or, or stuff like that, although I am in creative mode. Uh, but yeah, this ship cannot support its own weight, so it has to be going at orbital velocity in order to not fall out of the sky and crash land. So I've picked this crater because it's kind of long. Uh, the Earth is above us, if I can get the camera to comply. There we are. Uh, with the weird snow ring going on, don't know what's up with that. Uh, so, we're going to switch a third person and start going. In fact, put my HUD on so I know what speed we're at. I'm going to start rocking backwards, uh, and we're going to try and do this as close to the surface as possible. So we need about 170 meters per second to actually get this thing, hopefully, into orbit. I'm really looking forward to this. This should be really fun. All right, tilting upwards still. If I let go, will we start rocking back? Yeah, we do. Okay, let's keep it up this way then, because I have tried this before. Uh, I couldn't actually make it out of the crater either. Now we're going to start burning, because we can actually go up at this angle, uh, to keep our velocity kind of close to the horizon. Let's just do a bit of camera recentering. Okay, uh, and to show that we are going to absolutely be in orbit, I'm actually going to turn off my power once we do this, once we actually get up to speed. I'm going, keep, uh, I'm going to keep dampers on to begin with to make sure that we can get as low as possible, so I don't want to be going up anymore. Uh, but the height calculations are a little weird for this since the terrain is so uneven. Alright, coming up on 160 meters per second. Oh god, it's froze. I'm going to get lower a bit. Okay, we're actually travelling faster, so I want to break a little bit. Get down to 175. Seven, six, five. There we go. Okay, dampening now off. Uh, okay, we're currently going up. I think that might be because the orbit's not entirely circular. So now I'm going to turn off power. Uh, we're about 300 meters off the ground, coming up to 400. So I do have the start point there. So if we're about 300 meters off the ground. When we come back around to the start point, then we know that we've done our job. Okay, we're at 500. This might not go according to plan. We're decelerating, actually. Oh, no. Okay, now we need to start this again. Okay, change of plan. This ship can now actually support its own weight. Uh, so I figured that we need to be at surface height when we start. Uh, pretty much, so we actually have to be off the ground before we launch. Uh, now, I've never been in this ship. This one is the Humpback, and it is another one of Zox's ships. These, these are all great. I, love, I use these a lot. Uh, but not this one specifically. Oh, it's got a bit of a hangar bed. How cool. That's not the only one. Uh, I'm just going 
jetpack along here way faster. Okay, this is the bridge. I can actually, actually no, I'm not going to turn my helmet off because I've got all the doors. Well, I mean, uh, it doesn't matter. So, we're going to raise up till we are to the crosshairs just above the crater. I'm actually going to turn here so the crater's a little shorter. But I need this thing to be fast, but also have enough thrusters to uh, control its movement. Otherwise, our orbit won't be stable. There's a lot of KSP experience going into this right now. I hope it pays off. Right. Uh, HUD on, definitely. Um, maybe a little bit higher, perhaps? Okay. So we want to be orbiting as low as possible at 175 meters per second. We are going to go now. And also keep our uh, horizon indicator level. Wow, this thing's fast. Oh, it clicked. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Take three. Beginning in three, two, one, go. Accelerating to 175 meters per second. Or actually, 171, isn't it? Thirty, hundred and forty, fifty, sixty. A little too fast. A little too fast. Okay, that's about right. Okay, now we should be in orbit. Kilometers, 2.5, Yay, we did it! Alright, we successfully completed an orbit, now we're going to do a ceremonial crashing, even though we've already seen that happen. Oh, my seat's gone! <laughs> oh! Oh, where is everything? Where's the ship? It's gone. Well, I don't only clip the front end, but I didn't expect the entire thing to disintegrate. Unless it's still orbiting, I don't know. All oh, right, it worked. I can't believe it actually did work. I thought like usually my math goes wrong somewhere along the line, but I'm so in a rush to do it that I just don't realize where. So yeah, I'm really glad that that came through. Uh, and I can actually put things in orbit. Little uh, comm satellites or something if I want to. And they could be way closer uh, than just the usual. Like, yeah, just the usual um, put it out of the gravity well or whatever. Even though the gravity well 
of um, the moon isn't that tall kind of thing. I mean, like, we were getting, like, 500 meters away from the surface and we were already starting to lose it. Uh, but, yeah, that was really good fun. I'm glad it worked. There's a little GPS point there to say that we have finished. There are bits of ships scattered everywhere. Uh, they're probably going to rain down on us at one point, but no matter. I'm in creative mode. Nothing valuable is here. Most of it's on Earth at the moment, so that's all well and good. So I would like to thank you all for watching this um, interesting experiment, I suppose, of a video. Uh, it's the second one I've, I've done. The other one was the fidget spinner. I'll link that uh, at the end of the video, which, which is actually now, so you should see that pop up pretty soon. Uh, and if you guys like this video, please consider subscribing to keep up to date with everything else. Uh, if you'd like to help me get a new microphone, please head on over, or, or you just like my content, I suppose, please head on over and support me on Patreon. Uh, that'd be much appreciated. And if you have any comments or criticism, yeah, just leave them down in the uh, comment section down below. I try to read all of them. Um, so I have email notifications on, so I get emails as soon as anyone says anything, which is great because it means I can reply to you as soon as possible, wherever I am. Uh, so yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.